As pieces of the Titan were raised, so were questions about safety and the future of vehicles that are sometimes unregulated. Topics that hit close to home at the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution. We support science, uh, we support exploration, and we support national defense. Perhaps nowhere on earth do they know more about submersibles. There's two things that you don't sacrifice in innovation, and that's quality and safety. Carl Hartsfield was an advisor on the search for Titan. When you heard that Titan was made out of a carbon fiber hull with the titanium end caps, what did you think? Well, the first thing I thought is that it's two dissimilar materials. How they're joined together is going to be critical. The materials used here and their designs are tried and tested. Other designs, like tubes, for example, you have to make them extremely strong to handle the force. So the wonderful thing about a sphere is when you push it, it wants to stay that shape. This seven inch thick titanium sphere was the crew capsule of the Alvin submersible as it carried the first humans to the Titanic wreck. It's been redesigned for current missions and exacting collaboration with the Navy, but basic principles haven't changed. How much thought about safety went into this? Oh my God. It's, that is literally step one. We have fire extinguishers. We have emergency food. We have water. The sub is built around the idea that we have to come home. The crew capsule and everything on board the deep diving submersible, even something as small as a camera housing, is pressure tested. If it's a piece of Alvin equipment, gets tested. To one and a half times greater pressure than it would experience on a dive. This is capable of doing 20,000 PSI which is uh, more than Challenger Deep, which is the deepest part of the ocean. The reality is fewer people have gone to the ocean depths than into space. Why do humans need to be at that depth? It really goes to helping us understand our planet. Vital research they say must continue safely. Kristen Dahlgren, NBC News, Woods Hole, Massachusetts. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.